Okay, so now we're gonna go over and grab the drive from, <laughs> this is the wacky one that was hanging down here from the system. Um, let's see if I can do this one handed. Maybe I can kind of show you here at an angle. I mean, this doesn't matter too much, but I just wanna show you disconnecting the drive and everything here. Um, there you go, so we're just gonna, can you see that? Yeah, well, yeah you can see that. So we're gonna unplug it from the system, the desktop here, and plug this, and we're good to go. So we're gonna take this over to the other desk now. And uh, we're going to plug it in and give it a try. I actually rearrange the monitors. Um, so the monitor we're gonna be looking at is that last one there. Um, let's see, but here we're gonna go. We're gonna put this back into the tray. Let me just get the actual tray. Okay, so we got, uh, Aside from all this crap here, we got the tray. We'll plug it in here. So first we put the adapter back in. Yeah, it should be seeable. Put this down here. Fantastic. And we're just going to put one screw in here just to hold it together. This is going to be our test. You know, just in case there is actually a problem. Things have taken more steps than I uh, had hoped for in the past. That said, I've had pretty good luck with this, uh, with the exception of the one time we tried to put a, a 2.4 drive. Let me see how that, yeah, I think that was showed up in the shot, okay. And we got our wall systems here again really quick. Let me just show you that again too. Let me get a closer up on that. Um, we're actually putting the drive in. So we're going to try to make sure this stays on camera. There, let me go around the back here. I can get a better angle. Um, Okay, right, make sure it's seated properly. There we go. Now we're gonna connect these two connectors. I'll try to do it so my hand is in the way, but it's hard. Um, so yeah, it's also, also dark in here, but there's not a lot I can really do about that. If it's not already obvious, this is in my basement, so it's, <laughs> it's a good workshop, but not the best for necessarily uh, recording videos. Anyway, so here we go, all plugged in. Wonderful. As you can see here, the cable, you can see all the cables plugged in, the, the network card. I think it's uh, the Wi-Fi and um, it also handles the uh, Bluetooth for the controllers. Okay. And uh, we got our giant stack of systems here. So let's see if I can kind of go at this angle now. We're just gonna, we're just gonna reconnect those connectors there at the top. There, that should be good. We're gonna pull this forward. We're gonna reconnect things here. There we go. Okay, and we're gonna connect up the sound here. And we're gonna connect the, uh, the Wi-Fi antenna. There's this little annoying thing here I hate this thing but uh, it's let's see if you can see it see this little foam pad there between the case between the uh, front board and the thing it's annoying because every time you put the lid down it's kind of in the way and I don't even really understand what it's used for but and they just seem to fall off all the time one of those Microsoft design things let's see here yeah, you should be able to see that so we're gonna connect this up here and there we go and we're gonna put this front case back on and uh, again, we can see, so below it is the, uh, the system we had to fix earlier. And uh, above it is the system we're doing the upgrade. Uh, so everything's all connected. Oh, so now we're just gonna hook up. Again, this is kind of the rough side here. There's no light. But, uh, let's see everything hooked up. And we're gonna also hook up the, uh, the network this time. Um, just to kind of show you everything working, but there we go. Okay, so we're going to boot it up. Now, again, this is my system, so uh, I'm going to start it booting, and then I'll, I'm going to just move to a uh, view. Now, I'm going to put this thing back into, this is for the, uh, the bind button, which we'll need with the, um, the, uh, the, the controller I have, which is somewhere here. Any controller will do. We'll just use one of these guys. Uh, so it's 
Get the monitor going here. And we will get the system going here. I don't have an actual controller attached right now. So we'll just manually power it on. And, and here's the moment of truth here. Here we go. As soon as we get to or near the dashboard, I'm gonna slightly change my angle here. Apologize for all the Atari. I don't know if you, can, you won't be able to see that in the shot, but I'm gonna go over to one side here. I just don't wanna get too much video of the guy's user ID. This is the one side effect of the, you know, not using the instant on functionality. Uh, although, Having copied everything like we did, we would have been powered off anyways. That's good. All right, so we're just missing everything there, so this is perfect. All right, so let's uh, get the controller going here. So we'll bind this up. Go. And that system's a little bit squeaky. I can clean it up a little bit later. But anyways, so what we want to do is check out the uh, storage size. And there you go. Uh, I don't remember in the earlier video what that percentage was, but it must have been pretty high because I think he was using... Uh, he was using pretty much the whole partition, so he might have been 90 something something percent there, but uh, there you go. So we got 1.7 terabytes, uh, 1.3 free, and there you go, and it boots and everything like that. Um, just to point out, so I know you can't quite see this, it's slightly off camera here. Um, when I would just put a 250 gig drive in, so basically taking a system without worrying about the working drive, and doing the thing we did earlier where we formatted it and then uh, just drop the OSUDT2 files on the drive directly. Um, one of the side effects of that, there were several. One of them was here, you'd come into the network and it wouldn't even open, which is very annoying. Um, the other thing was that you would install applications and then as soon as you rebooted, they wouldn't be authorized anymore, which is, which is pretty annoying. So this works every time. And uh, I'm gonna back up one more here. And the great and the nice side effect of this again is we go into my games and apps here, and you'll see all these games are installed, which is pretty cool. I don't see how they make things installed, so uh, it's tough to say with using all that space, but it doesn't take much. A lot of these games can take up a lot of room. All right, well that concludes the, uh, the upgrade process. And uh, so anyone that wants a two terabyte drive, that's how you do it. Of course you gotta buy the drive. Uh, the, the drives themselves cost about, at the time of making this video, 90 or less to actually purchase yourself. Uh, you might be able to get them used even cheaper and I'm sure they're only gonna keep going down. Um, so there you go, all right. Well, uh, good luck with your own uh, upgrade.